Hello, my name is Robin Lowe. I brought the first Exciter into Australia in 2013, subsequently started a business called Low Flight to promote the aircraft here in Australia. So I'm just going to walk around the aircraft quickly and uh, tell you a little bit about it. So it's a two-seat aircraft, as you can see, we've got the wing in the bag in the back seat here at the moment. But um, some of the features of the aircraft, it's, it's got, um, it's ground steerable, so you can, you can sort of drive around and do a, a bit of a test run before you take off from the strip that you're, you're taking off from. It's got suspension front and rear. It's got like a bungee cord type suspension. It's fairly simple, but very effective. Um, standard it comes with uh, disc brakes on the front there. There's mud guards, it's standard. Um, one thing that you can accessorize with is uh, it's got a tow hitch here, it's very unique. Um, this will connect directly onto the back of the vehicle and um, it can be towed around um, out on the roads. Um, part of the packet comes with uh, a cover that completely enshrouds the aircraft and um, it's got lights that go on with the indicators and brakes, uh, that sort of thing. All right, um, it's, it has a foot throttle on the other side here. This is a, a brake for the disc brake. On the other side, you've got the foot throttle. Um, for steering, you've got a couple of options. It's primarily with the toggles, uh, but as a backup redundancy, completely redundant uh, steering system, you've got these levers. Levers perform three functions. They, they provide in-flight speed adjustment. They also enable you, if you're yawing and flying into the wind, so you don't constantly have to have input you can set this up so it actually flies straight and through to where you want to get to. Uh, you can actually see the fuel in the tank. You can option the aircraft with a fuel gauge if you wish. I chose not to. Um, but once again, it doesn't cost a whole lot. Um, but it's pretty good if you can actually see it. in flight. You can. Um, it's a little bit difficult, but you can actually see your fuel in the tank. standard wheels. You can actually get Tundra wheels um, if you wish. It costs exactly the same price if you order it with 100 wheels. Uh, they're, they're much bigger. There are photos on the website of the aircraft fitted with those particular wheels. It brings the aircraft up. I think it's slightly wider. Um, but you know, if you want to find those conditions and you want those sort of wheels, they are available. It is fully certified um, with either of the wheels. So look here. One of the options that you can have with this aircraft is uh, what they call the pitch control system. Normally, um, there's one attachment point that's standard, but what you can do is you can have this second pulley system here. Basically, that stabilizes the wing for pitch, so if you hit turbulence, it, um, it just smooths Okay, we'll out. just get a little shot here. So, standard, you've got the, the foot pegs here, they fold down uh, for your passenger, seated in the back seat. Um, here, you have uh, what I call the cruise control. So basically this is, um, it can set your RPM of your engine so you can maintain altitude and um, take your foot off the foot pedal or throttle and um, you know with the levers you can actually set your direction up. This you can maintain your height so you can actually sit back and relax and just let the aircraft fly it if you want to. So that's um, another option or feature with that. Uh, here you've got the option you can actually put a, an LED landing light this is the area here uh, in the cockpit where you would put your fuel gauge um, if you wanted to option it with that. And you can see here there's two ports for power. Um, that is another option you can go, go for. Uh, most of them don't cost um, um, too much, so it's, it's up to you entirely exactly what you, how you want to configure the aircraft. In here, this is standard, comes with a Vario. You, get, um, you can put a couple of different or three different altitudes um, in there, um, you set your pressure on that uh, like you do with most altimeters. It's also got the time, it does the temperature and it's got a timer, an engine timer um, or flight timer if you like. Um, you've got your counter there for your engine hours, you've got your tachometer for your engine and also your engine temperature uh, gauges there as well. So those, those are all the standard. Yeah is how you activate the ballistic parachute. You definitely don't want that to happen when you're on the ground and someone's standing in front of it. It's got a padlock on here. Um, the padlock obviously comes off when you're in flight. Um, in case you have an emergency, you're just not going to have time to take that off. So basically you pull that handle, the rocket drags out your parachute. It will float down to the ground to people and the aircraft, it comes down horizontally. Um, via the same attachment points that your normal wing attaches to. 
All right, this cross member here, which is what your wing attaches to, it's designed, these two bits can come apart, uh, but basically they pivot, um, changing the angle of attack of the wing, which gives you your um, secondary steering system and changes your in-flight speed. Option you can do, once again, not for a whole lot more, you've got these um, uh, luggage compartments, this bag here, got the zip there in the front. You can also um, do the same on the other side, so you can have one or two or you know, left or right, it's up to you if you want to go that way. That's your ballistic parachute there, the little rocket fires out. Um, because it's rocket deployed, it can uh, work uh, fairly low to the ground and it's been suggested that maybe from 100, and f 100 feet that it would work. Um, you know, I don't really want to try it, but the reality is it deploys uh, very quickly and um, could make the difference. All right, we'll sneak around here. The engine is a Hurth 3503 engine. Um, Two-stroke fuel injected, it's 70 horsepower. Um, in Germany they've got very stringent um, noise standards that they have to meet um, and this engine has achieved that standard. Um, it's definitely a lot quieter than what you would be used to with a two-stroke motor. It doesn't sound really like a two-stroke motor. Most people commented that a couple of things they've said when I first flew it was A, it was a lot quieter and um, B, it sounded like a real aircraft, not like a lawnmower. So um, I've been very happy with that. Um, four blade prop, as you can see, custom built wing. Um, the aircraft was designed, CAD designed, using a guy who's got a doctorate um, in that sort of stuff. So you know, they know what they're doing. Dot has been known um, to be one of the fastest aircraft of its type currently flying in the world today. Um, I'll just grab the wing out for a second and um, show you what you see. So if you just um, come in here. So the passenger has got your standard um, harness there and um, there is some other belts. So once the, your passenger is seated in there, these belts clip on here like so and the other one goes over there. So the passenger is, is quite snug. You've got your foot pegs there, so their legs are coming down here, as you can see. Um, so that they would feel um, very secure in that back seat. And, um, but one thing that's probably worthy of note is these belts that clip on either side there must be done up, um, irrespective of whether you're carrying a passenger or not. And the reason being um, that secures the back of the pilot's seat. So, um, you know, when you're doing your, your pre-flight check, you should ensure that, uh, that those belts are done up. So that's pretty well it. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to go to my website, which is lowflight.com, and um, you'll find uh, links to videos there. You'll find a link to uh, Fresh Breeze in Germany, which um, there's manuals there you can download, and um, you'll also find how to contact me uh, via phone and via email. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, thanks for your time. Bye.